Hi, welcome back to Sotoku Tech. In my previous video, I got this comment about the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3 board. They're asking about battery management. Is there some way to know the voltage of the battery? And I did some searching around and you know, all of the ESP32 articles I found had like resistors between positive and a GPIO pin and then a GPIO pin and a negative. You know, so it had a couple of resistors in it. Yeah, see, there's the question. Tutorial video about battery management. Like I said, everything I found for ESP32, they added resistors between a GPIO pin and positive and negative. But I know for a fact with Meshtastic, I don't have any resistors hooked up to my Heltec V3 board there. And it's showing me the status of the battery. So I figure I'll go over to the Heltec.org page and go into the forum. And I found right off the bat, how to do battery management for Heltec Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3. And they suggest reading this excellent art starter article here on digital concepts, battery management. This is actually a really great article. It covers all of the versions of the Heltec Wi-Fi LoRa 32. I mean, it's got code for all of them. Yeah, it talks about V1 didn't include on port charging module. V2 was the first iteration of battery charging. And you can see, yeah, they put the resistors in the circuit itself. Yeah, and here's the V3 version, and it's uh, fairly uh, advanced. But what's cool is there is the code right here. <laughs> yeah, there's the download button. Go ahead and hit download. Boom, we downloaded Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3 battery voltage zip. Okay, so I'm going to just copy that name from the zip file and we'll make a new folder in my documents Arduino for the sketch and we'll paste the name there. Now let's go back to our download and I'm going to go into the zip file and just copy the INO file. I don't need the Mac OS X thing and I'm going to paste it in there. So now I have a folder named the same as the sketch. Let's go ahead and open it up. There we go. We want to make sure we have the right board selected. Once this opens up and yeah, tools, board, got the correct COM port, Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3. So let's go ahead and compile it. Well, let's take a look around anyway. Yeah, it prints the data out both serial and on the SSD 1306 display. I'm not going to go in detail describing the sketch contents, but yeah, you know, like I say, it does serial print and it also prints to the display. That that whole bottom section there is commented out. You can experiment with different values there. Yeah, it's using ADC pin 37 and VBAT read is one, you know, but while I'm compiling it, I can't get past this missing SSD 1306.h file. So I looked around, didn't have it. So I found in library manager, I found this library, SSD 1306, and it has an SSD 1306.h file in it. But I still can't get past the error here at all. And yeah, let's see, searching for SSD 1306. Seemed like a simple enough support library for the SSD 1306. Go ahead and install it. And even with it, even with it installed, I still get the same missing SSD 1306H error. So, you know, I decided I wanted to go with something I was familiar with. I've already done this Helltech LoRa V3 text demo sketch. Links down below for my GitHub site. And I already worked out how to display text on the display. So why try to fix the SSD 1306 issue when I can just mash up my text display example sketch? And don't watch my uh, DJ mix over there. It's on the live tab on my channel. Yeah, don't watch those. Okay, so let's just take a look here. I mashed it up. Helltech LoRa 32 V3 text demo is 
where we're going to start. And so we're going to take out the relevant portions of the original Wi-Fi LoRa 32V3 battery voltage sketch. And here we see I've kind of, I have mashed them up. So the applicable portions from void setup are in void setup. Void loop is simply calling the read battery voltage function. And then within the read battery voltage function, we're actually calculating the value from that pin and displaying it on the screen. And we have a 10 second delay in between. There's two values, float voltage and voltage. Voltage is in millivolts and float voltage is the 3.84 you see there. It's been running for an hour and it went down from 395 to 384 in, in over an hour. You can see I don't have it plugged in charging right now. That was one thing I didn't come across was how to read that it's being charged or not, but you see that big orange light there. Um, so I wonder if that orange light is on a pin and we could read that pin. Yeah, that's a Maker Focus 1000 MAH battery. I, I like those. Look for the link down below. I noticed as soon as I plugged it in, the voltage jumps to 395. So I hope that answers your question. It was an interesting question. I'm going to continue to look and see if I can read that pin for the lamp. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.